This is the way woken up. Alright, so hey guys, it's Olog, and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. Episode 2. Alright, so in the last episode, Vadi just came and stole, no, came and just broke the Pecora Blade and released the, like, Pandora's box of this universe. So, what's going on here, essentially? Oh, thank goodness, you have awakened. The Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see Miss His Majesty the King. Huh? Okay, so what's going on here? I want to know what's going on. Oh, what's with that? What's with that funky light show? Oh, Link, you're awake. Are you feeling all right? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. It is as you've all heard. A man named Fati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her into stone. If we had the sacred Picori blade, we would likely have broken the curse. But Fati has shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Picori? The Picori? You mean those thumb-sized little imps from the fairy tales? Yes, the same. But the Picori are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside the royal family knows the truth about them. The Picori, who forged the sacred blade, live deep within the Mietenish woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. W -w what? Then we must dispatch soldiers there at once! No, soldiers will not do. The Picori, the Picori must not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers can search for days and still find no sign of them. Then, if that's the case, then why not send Link? Ooh. If Link has recovered, then yes, I would like to, to ask this of him. Please, turn my prisoner Zelda back to normal. The recorder should know how to create a new sacred sword. It will be a dangerous journey now that those monsters have been freed. Please, take the sword with you, along with a broken Picori blade. You accepted the broken Picori blade! And this is part of the sword that needs to be reforged, the sacred sword. Don't lose it. And we got the smith sword! It's a sharp blade made by your grandfather. Very well then, send those soldiers to search for Fati at once. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called the Deepwood Shrine. Once, humans and Picori shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you would sh if you started a search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check the map. Just press start and then L or R to open the map. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. You get the map of I rule! Now you'll never get lost. So that's where we're going and the, all this. All the so yeah, that's where we're going. Now that we have our quest uh, unlocked, I'm counting on you, Link. Now only you can break Vati's curse and free Princess Zelda. Yes, now we can actually kill stuff. Woo! Yeah, and you guys, if any one of you has played Minish Cap or any any other Legend of Zelda game with Hyrule Castle in it. Like, uh, most famously, Link to the Past, you should know this song. I mean, I love this song, to be frank. And you're gonna hear me, like, nerdgasm all over this game, because it's so good. I love this game, and um, I think it's a bit underappreciated, actually. It's a lot of fun. And it's a good game, too. There's a lot of cool mechanics and boss, especially bosses. The boss fights that makes this game the make this game the gem it is. Oh, what's going on here? The name is Muto. I'm the head carpenter around these parts. The King of Hyrule himself was interested in this project. See, the recent earthquake tore this place up pretty bad. Listen, kid, you shouldn't be playing anywhere near the construction zone. Hey, guess what? I don't care, son. I don't care, dude. I do whatever I want. I'm a kid. And now I can actually move this way. Now I'm actually going to start some exploring. You can't do anything about this thing yet, but... Oh! Oh, enemies! 
Enemies, enemies. Hey, buddy. I, st I still should really change my control scheme. I'm not really the best at the 2D Zelda games, but... Die. Die. Give money and give me hearts. Can't do anything about this yet either. And so right now she just... Oh my god. Die. Give me hearts. Uh, hearts are not really that plentiful in this game. Uh, I don't really know how many heart pieces there are, but I will show up on screen whenever there's heart piece nearby that you can get. Oh crap! These things are annoying. And you got a heart. Your life energy has been slightly replenished. Yay! Sigh! I can't do anything about that yet either. Won't be able to do that for quite a while. So now we're gonna take a little detour. And get some money because money is actually quite important in this game. Uh, for certain heart pieces and whatnot, you need a lot of money. Even though it's pretty plentiful in this game, though, thankfully. Yeah, we got a five rupees. This it's kind of nice. See right there. Go lift. And the controls are also pretty smooth for this game, to be honest. It's gonna be one of my new. Th this is gonna be one of my three Let's Plays on this channel. So I'm gonna be updating this game on Mondays, Tuesday, no, Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Then um, Sunny on Sundays, and then a secret little Let's Play on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I'm gonna be working on three Let's Plays at once. Yeah. Good luck. Uh, let's see if I can keep up to that promise. But yeah, this. Uh, I'm gonna record these episodes like close to each other, so I will have them all recorded. Just regular earlier, I used to like record them and upload them the same day. And I was like, nah, that's probably not a smart idea doing that. That's how. The, that's the way I also want to take care of those guys. And just, mad, you know, just do, do a mad slash and you'll kill them. And, and now we're gonna enter one of my favorite areas in the game, guys. Look at the diminished woods. This is an area which we're gonna visit frequently in the beginning of the game. And we can't actually get that heart piece yet. Because you can't, because Link, and almost every in the Zelda game, is a terrible swimmer. It's only in the 3D Zelda games where you actually can swim right off the bat. And we can't do anything about that yet. We will be able to do that eventually, though. But it's not an item or anything. Well, technically it is. Uh, but I'm not gonna spoil what it is, because it's a big part of the game. Um. Oh crap, what the f- I am playing so poorly right now. I don't know why, I also have a habit of just walking around and cutting the bushes. I don't know why, it's just a waste of time right now. And we actually should go down, there is a way up too, but we can't really do much there right now. So I would just suggest you go here. I think that it is this way you want to go, but I'm not entirely sure. HELP! HELP ME! Ouch! Would somebody stop them? Ow! Help! Somebody! Can anybody hear me? But first, more importantly, you got a piece of heart! Collect four to make a new heart and a heart container for even more life energy. Yeah, I'll pick that up now while you still can. It's quite important. In case you won't be able to pick that up. Unless you're big. Nah, I'm not gonna spoil it. Uh, so, uh, we won't be able to pick that up later. I'll just pick it up right now so you don't forget. Because that thing's gonna taunt you later. Trust me. Uh, so, let's go up and check here. Now that we... Uh, I just wanted to get that heart piece out of the way. So... Hey! Hey! Kid! You there! Ow! Hey! Don't just stand there! Do something! 
Ow! <laughs> What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me. Yes, I actually kind of enjoy this. Hey, buddy. Fuck you. Hey. You. Well done. That was close, but not, not that I could have handled myself. Uh, you look kind of helpless there, buddy. I'm sorry. But that's beside the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? It's not that deep. Oh, oh I see. The Picotti, you say? And Vati? Vati's curse? Someone? What? The Sacred Blade? Huh? Is that so? I see, I see. You, you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I am... I too am a quest to break Vati's break a curse of bodies. And you say that your forging a sacred blade can break this curse, eh? Well then, you have found yourself a companion, my boy. I am Ezlo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And he's just bouncing around. Wait, I say. Wouldn't you walk so quickly? Too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Sure, you've noticed that I have no legs. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, to get a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk in walk this fast? Whee! Yeah! <laughs> I think that's a uh, accurate representation of his scream there. If it isn't one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome boy. Ow! What the fuck? Hey, face hugger! <laughs> there, now you can't possibly leave me behind. Why, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And it's much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? There. See? There. Yes, yes, that's it. Much better. Now, I suppose a boy like you still has, um, much to learn about the world. If you ever need my insight, press select. I'll be happy to help. Ah, oh, such a hopeless child. Ahem. That's me you're ta ca calling hopeless, by the way. We don't have a spin attack yet. That makes me sad. Yeah, spin attack. Oh, heart. So yeah, this game is a little... Not necessarily difficult. It's a little more difficult, though, than the other Legend of Zelda games. Hold on for a moment, my boy. We have stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're too far too big to beat them now. Eh? Who are the Minish? Ah, yes, sure. Silly me. Allow me to explain. Humans call them Picori. But they uh, refer themselves as Minish. Strange. How in the world of humans, the old list only forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many of them now live. But if we enter the village, we might have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that. At the first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No, that stump is a portal used used by people long ago to adjust their size. So that's what uh, the old, that's what the king talked about when uh, this area was a little forum for humans and minish to meet. Uh, with my help, you can use it to shrink to a minish size. You stand on the stump and press to shrink. And press, uh, R to drink. Let's return to one almost stand next to the stump and pressing R. Get up there and we'll give it a try. Okay, so this is a big part of the Legend of Zelda uh, Minish Cap. Jump up on it and press R. And this kiss cutscene is skippable. Just press. I think it is start or select or something. It is, there is a way to skip it. Right now, I don't think it's skippable, but I think you can skip it later. Look at the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Uh, portals reduce the size to all around you in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to portal and press R. But there is one thing you must know about being Minish-sized. It's full of dangers. Mere puddles and normal size are bottomless swamps in the Minish. To diminish. And as a companion, anything bad happens to you happens to me too. 
Oh, woohoo, you're a hat. I can dip you in the water and you'll be fine. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? We can't use our sword. Not this is gonna do much. That's all we can do. We can roll. And we can now go through a small passageway here. Whee! And we can also watch them walk on these lily pads. Whee! One of those minutes just quite no! Crap! Fuck! I fell in already. It was just a matter of time before I fell into the puddle. Here we go. And now, welcome no actually. First. I just gotta roll all the way. Hell yes. Welcome to Minish Village. So, before now, hmm, it appears that we have found the Minish Village. So now, what the fuck's going on here? What? What are these things? Okay, okay, we're apparently. I gather it's been quite some time since they have last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying? No! No, I didn't! They were talking gibberish! <laughs> yes, that was language of diminish. It said a little different from the dialect that I'm most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said. What's so, up? Mm, oh, sorry, I'm, I had to yawn there. It's like... Uh, 11.30 p.m., so... But perhaps there is something who understands like Someone who has such language. Is your clan? Yes, well, we'll do that, guys, in the next episode of... Uh, Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. I'm Zolog, and I hope that you have a fantastic day.